Hello Internet and welcome to the final or the first game of the final of the Nugget Bridge Invitational against um, Samuel996, the only other guy from the UK that actually was invited to play in this tournament. So the UK had a pretty strong showing in this tournament and um, I'm not really sure what to expect because um, he has played a lot of good players and he beat them in this tournament to get to the final. So. Um, not too sure what to expect. Maybe um, this is going to be the biggest game of his uh, Pokemon life. So maybe he might be a little bit more nervous than I am. Um, but I'm still not going to under underestimate him. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about this Ferrothorn because um, the only thing I've got to one shot this Ferrothorn is my Talonflame. And Talonflame is not bulky, it can't take hits, it knocks itself out with its own recoil. Um, even resist it hits, it can't really take, so um, it's a bit of a double-edged sword using it really. Um, but this Ferrothorn is definitely something I've got to watch out watch out for. Um, let's get into the game though, he did have Kangaskhan in his team preview, so um, I was kind of expecting a Kangaskhan lead. Um, but I thought I'll play it safe-ish, I'll go with what I'm used to. Um, this pair, this lovely pair, has uh, got me to the final, so I'll throw them out one more time. Raichu and Azumarill. Um, as he sends out both of his dragons, so I'm quite happy with this. And um, we can see he's actually withdrawing his Noivern here, but um, I know that I can use Fake Out on his Garchomp. He's not going to be earthquaking anything. I know that his Noivern isn't going to be threatening either of my Pokemon damage wise. But I know that it does have Taunt, and I know that he will know that my Azumarill likes to um, drum its belly, basically. I've been terrorizing this tournament with um, belly drum, so I was actually expecting him to do the bold move of staying in with his Noivern and using Taunt on my Azumarill. Um, basically in the face of uh, a play rough, or a, a potential play rough, and so um, I just go straight for the play rough. I used to fake out, as we'll see in a moment, just here. Here we go, here it is. And um, I just go for the play rough on his, um, what was Noivern, but he does bring his Ferrothorn in, so he made probably the safer play there in hindsight. I could have got a belly drum there, but I couldn't be too sure. So, I do get this attack drop, which is lucky for me. Um, it does mean that he can't one-shot my Raichu with a Power Whip. Um, he does still threaten my Azumarill with a um, with his Grass Attack, though. Um, whatever Grass Attack that will be, his Power Whip, probably. Um, so, this next turn, I decide to make the bold play. Um, I predict him to not... well... I don't predict him to not really, but uh, <laughs> but I just go straight for this Garchomp because I don't see this Garchomp protecting. If I do lose Azumarill here, then I've still got my Talonflame in the back. It's not the end of the world, um, but I go for this double target on the Garchomp, and the combination of these two moves with that fake out damage was just just enough to take this Garchomp down. Um, but actually, he over predicts and he attacks my Raichu instead. With the minus one attack he still does about half damage to my Raichu so he still does quite a lot of damage to it. It's still um, quite an offensive um, pressure on the field but because he did use Gyro Ball that is um, well maybe you could see it as a little bit of a mistake really because I am threatening with the Encore now and he actually sends his Rotom Heat in and I'm quite sure it's an offensive Rotom Heat so I'm not sure if it's got Will-O-Wisp or not. I'm leaning towards, no, I think it has probably got Hidden Power of Ice. I'm just suspecting at this moment, though. Um, so, I'm not actually worried about his Rotom Heat at all. My um, Azumarill, as long as I get this Ferrothorn Encored, um, can basically get a free Belly Drum off here, and that's what happens. Um, he he thinks that his Rotom is actually threatening me and he withdraws it expecting maybe Protect or, or something else um, and he brings his Noivern back in as I basically just get a free Belly Drum off and so I'm sitting very happy now um, yeah it went uh, in my favour he could have uh, power whipped my Azumarill earlier on and maybe this situation wouldn't have happened but my leads here are doing a lot of work my Raichu even better just survives on here as well so, I mean, these next few turns are going to be played out very cautiously. 
Um, we're both very cautious here. He protects his Noivern. I don't really have use for my Raichu anymore, but I do have use for my um, Azumarill, so I'm protecting that uh, from anything that he might want to do, and I'm just hidden powering his Noivern um, just to get a bit of damage off, basically, in case he doesn't um, target that. But now, his Rotom is threatened by my Aqua Jet, and his Noivern uh, can't really do much, so I'm just making the safe plays. I'm just going for the Aqua Jet on the Rotom and the Hidden Power Ice on the Noivern. Um, as he, you know, makes the same, uh, the safe move really of bringing in his Ferrothorn while protecting. It does mean his Rotom his is um, vulnerable to the Encore again now, but this is really the best thing that he can do. Is uh, is not really doing any damage to me. He's just kind of surviving, but. But is 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 holding in there just but he's is switching out because he's threatened by the Aqua Jet or the Encore. But I know that if I get a little bit of chip damage with my Thunderbolt on this Ferrothorn, I know that a plus six ac um, play rough will actually knock this Ferrothorn out, or it's got a very good chance to. Um, I did expect his Rotom to be. Um, you know, threatened uh, either try and protect again or switch out or whatever. Um, but I've got rid of the Ferrothorn now, so basically the game is mine. Uh, my leads won me that game. I did not have to switch. He did not even see what my back two Pokemon were. So he forfeits at that point because he doesn't want to show um, any more information about his team. He doesn't want to show any more moves. He doesn't want to show me what kind of Rotom it is if I didn't know already. Um, he don't want to show any items, he doesn't want to show a potential Focus Ash on the Noivern either. Um, but, he doesn't actually bring the Noivern in the next game. The next game, um, if I win the next game, I win the tournament. So, there is a bit more pressure. Um, but, let's have a look at the next video, and let's see how it turns out.